Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we already have discussed that how we can find the vulnerable URL of any subdomain, if whether the, that subdomain is vulnerable or not. Now in this video, this is the second part, obviously. So in this video, we are going to show you that how you will get to know that yeah, this is this link is vulnerable, and you can take over that. Uh, you can take that subdomain. Uh, it, it means that you should have some proof. So with the help of GitHub, we are going to show you that how you can do this. But firstly, let me show you. Okay, let's let's go in the sub -z folder ls cd desktop. Okay, pwd. Okay, so go in the sub -g, ls. Okay, so we 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 have already uh, find these subdomains of adobe.com, dell.txt, laptop. This one is regarding laptop gallery. Great. So now we are going to find out sub z. Let's say it is running. Great, it's running. So sub z and targets. We need to give the targets, right? So here is the targets. And let's firstly do on the adobe.txt. I don't want to show, I don't want to see the error one right so i'm what i'm doing i'm just doing the height fails so enter it okay now you can see this one is vulnerable that was unbounce and i already told you that it is not uh, vulnerable but uh, you don't know as a, as a beginner uh, in, as an intermediate you don't know about that unbounce what is unbounce and how it is uh, going to work so what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy this any of the url let's copy this one copy this ui url where it is gone okay copy this url and go in the github section now what you what uh, uh, you have to do here make an account on github firstly first thing is that make an account and once you will make an account your account will looks like this like uh, mine one is showing here right so now you go you have to go in this plus button and click on the new repo new repo means a uh, new repository you can say click on new repository great so uh, click on description i am giving this one so for as as just uh, for the naming convention i am just giving so that i can remember this one right so i have given this one okay uh, do this as public initialize this step you can click on add readme you can also click on this one right but i'm just doing the add a readme file now create repository let's see what is happening okay great so now we have uh, successfully created this one now you have to go in the settings go in the setting and after that you need to go in the branches uh, okay, great. So, define to uh, define branch protection rules to disable force. Okay, new rules, and here is the main and rename main. Okay, rename. let's say master rename branch, right? Okay, let's let's go again, go in this one and go in the settings go in the branches okay great now i think we have already done this let's let's go in the options so in the options we need to see branches Okay, so we have page out and dedicated tab. Check it out here because we need GitHub pages. Okay, great. So guys, uh, we can see we have the GitHub pages. 
let's let's uh, check it now here so we need to select the branch from here we select the master save right now uh, it is asking for a custom domain right so now what is uh, what is uh, happening here if you can see uh, whatever the url i am going to uh, give here it is going to be redirect or you can say linked to this github.io so what will happen whenever uh, any user is going to be search this url okay so what was the uh, domain i think uh, adopt.com okay let me confirm it uh, yes i think we have adopt.com right so now what will happen once i will click on save it will tell us if it is vulnerable then it will register it, if it will not uh, vulnerable then it will uh, tell us something give uh, will give us some error now the main thing is that that this this one is going to be linked with this github.io and uh, okay let me firstly click on that save let's see what happen if it is vulnerable or not great your site is published right but what 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 they are uh, telling here that uh, dns check is in progress progress please wait for the dns check to complete great it looks like uh, we have done something let's let's go in this uh, website if it is vulnerable not found right so now what will happen if it is successful now just just uh, because uh, it is so here it is already uh, the, what what it is telling your site DNS settings are using a custom subdomain. This one that that's not set up the correct name C name right. So it has been already checked whether it is C, correct C name or not. We recommend you set this C name record to point your username github.io for more information. This is blah 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 and blah right. So now what what an hacker can do here as a hacker let's say you are a hacker and what you can do that if it is successful then you will send this link to any of the user or any user will click on that that will directly redirect to here right where it will be redirected it will be redirected to here this point let me show you because it's a very important concept okay got it okay so now you can see here once let's say after clicking on that link you are coming here right and now in the code section I, I can give you anything for you anything whatever i want to give you even i can uh, make a, a malware file here once you will click on that your uh, pc is going to be uh, what we can say directly uh, damaged so that's that that's the a disadvantage of these things and uh, you can say as a hacker it, it is for uh, uh, advantage for you so that's how it is working and that's the role i hope uh, i'm very clear with that and uh, i'm i'm able to make you understand that how it is actually working i hope uh, if there is any doubt in, in regards with that uh, i will be very happy to discuss those things so please ping me if you, if you have any any doubts in this section